Buddhist religious architecture developed in the Indian subcontinent. Three types of structures are associated with the religious architecture of early Buddhism, monasteries viharas, places to venerate relics stupas, and shrines or prayer halls chaitiyas, also called chaitya grihas, which later came to be called temples in some places. The initial function of a stupa was the veneration and safeguarding of the relics of Gautama Buddha. The earliest surviving example of a stupa is in Sanchi Madhya Pradesh. In accordance with changes in religious practice, stupas were gradually incorporated into Chaitya Grihas prayer halls. These are exemplified by the complexes of the Ajanta Caves and the Ellora Caves Maharashtra. The Mahabodhi Temple at Bodh Gaya in Bihar is another well-known example. The pagoda is an evolution of the Indian stupa. <laughs> Early development A characteristic new development at Buddhist religious sites was the stupa. Stupas were originally more sculpture than building, essentially markers of some holy site or commemorating a holy man who lived there. Later forms are more elaborate and also in many cases refer back to the Mount Meru model. One of the earliest Buddhist sites still in existence is at Sanchi, India, and this is centered on a stupa said to have been built by King Ashoka 273-236 BCE. The original simple structure is encased in a later, more decorative one, and over two centuries the whole site was elaborated upon. The four cardinal points are marked by elaborate stone gateways. As with Buddhist art, architecture followed the spread of Buddhism throughout South and East Asia and it was the early Indian models that served as a first reference point, even though Buddhism virtually disappeared from India itself in the 10th century. Decoration of Buddhist sites became steadily more elaborate through the last two centuries BCE, with the introduction of tablets and friezes, including human figures, particularly on stupas. However, the Buddha was not represented in human form until the first century CE. Instead, aniconic symbols were used. This is treated in more detail in Buddhist art, aniconic phase. It influenced the development of temples, which eventually became a backdrop for Buddha images in most cases. As Buddhism spread, Buddhist architecture diverged in style, reflecting the similar trends in Buddhist art. Building form was also influenced to some extent by the different forms of Buddhism in the northern countries, practicing Mahayana Buddhism in the main and in the south where Theravada Buddhism prevailed. Examples See also Thai temple art and architecture List of Buddhist temples Topic. References Topic. External links Peabody Essex Museum — Phillips Library, the Herbert Offen Research Collection — Books and items on Buddhist architecture.